if you're with us in Dinky Doo. Where was the 39 steps set? I thought there was a Kinross connection. Well, the um, Kenneth Moore one, was that 1960 or was it 50s? Was it the 1950s, the late 1950s, I think? Was it 57? The Kenneth Moore, it was the same. The original one was Robert Donat, uh, and that was the Hitchcock. And that is still, old black and white movie, a first class movie. An excellent movie. Yeah, Robert Donat from the 1930s. John Laurie's in it. The Scottish actor from Dad's Army were doomed. He plays a young farmer in it. And I think that was, was that 1939, that one? With Robert Donat. Excellent, beautiful piece of work. So that's that one. That's still very, 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 very watchable. The next one had Kenneth Moore uh, as Richard Henney. And that was in the 50s. And there's certainly a bit on the fourth bridge. And then the next one was, I think, in the 70s with Robert Powell. So there have been three 39 Steps movies. Very exciting. One of them, uh, there's a fair bit at Dumbarton, I think. Yes. Guys, help me out with, uh, with the 39 Steps here. All uh, right, what have we got here? Ah, the wonderful Robert Scrimger. Good evening, Scotty. Did you know that Robert Burns' brother, Gilbert, is buried in East Lothian? Yes. Round the corner from where I used to live, uh, Robert. And I think the mother, I think Burns' mother's buried there. I visited the grave a long time ago. Mrs. Burns, I think. And father and Robert, are they not buried? Now, we, well, father, I think. Is he not buried in uh, in Ayrshire at the farm at Ellisland? Robert Burns' father's buried there, I think. And the mother and Gilbert in East Lothian. And Robert Burns, is he not in Dumfries? See, when Burns died, he was a pauper. He was a, he was a debtor of the poor soul. And they buried him in the Toon Heap at Dumfries, the Toon Hamers. They were terrible to poor old Burns. And uh, and he, he had, he had uh, oh, what was it he had? Um, rheumatic fever, I think, latterly. That's kind of what took him away. Well, no, it was endocarditis that took him away. But he had rheumatic fever.